In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for Ki plus Cl2. This is potassium iodide and this is chlorine gas. So first thing, when we write net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation and it looks like if I put a 2 in front of the Ki and then a 2 in front of the KCl, this equation will be balanced. Next, we write the states for each substance. Potassium compounds are very soluble. We're going to write a little AQ after that because that'll be dissolved in water. And then chlorine, Cl2, that's a gas. So we have our chlorine gas. Chlorides and potassium ions, very soluble when bonded together here. So let's put an aqueous. That's going to be dissolved in water. For the iodine, that's going to be dissolved in the water. That's going to be aqueous. So we'll split the strong electrolytes now up into their ions after we have the states. So strong electrolytes are these ionic compounds and they're going to break apart or dissociate into their ions. So to do that, we need to know the charge. Potassium's in group one on the periodic table. It has a one plus and then iodine that has a negative ionic charge. So we could say we have two K plus and I'll write the states later when we're done. And then we have two iodide ions, the two I minus. We don't split up gases in ionic equations, so we're just going to write Cl2. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. The products, we'd have KCl, which is an aqueous, it's a strong electrolyte, we'll have a plus and a minus there for the charges, 2K plus, plus 2Cl minus, two chloride ions. And then this I2, this isn't a strong electrolyte, it's not an ionic compound, and though it's aqueous, it's dissolved in the water, it's not going to split apart. We'll write I2 there. So this is our complete ionic equation. From here, we can cross out the spectator ions. These are ions on both sides of this complete ionic equation. So they're the things that are the same on both sides. We have 2K plus here, 2K plus here. Cross them out. Everything else, though, is unique. We're just going to have to leave it as it is, and this will be our net ionic equation. We have our two iodide ions, chlorine, two chloride ions, very different than Cl2, plus that aqueous iodide. Let me clean this up. We'll come back and have a net ionic equation for Ki plus Cl2. So this is the net ionic equation for potassium iodide plus chlorine gas. I think the only kind of odd thing here is this I2, it is dissolved in the water, but it's not a strong electrolyte, so we're not going to split it apart. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.